Hi everybody, this is Tracy from Northeast Tower and welcome to a new weekly series that I am going to be offering here on my YouTube channel. In addition to my general monthly tarot forecast, I am now offering a general weekly tarot forecast. And the way I will be doing this is I will be uploading four videos each week by element, so a fire, water, earth, and air. And then within those videos, I will break it down by each individual zodiac sign just to give you guys the most accurate forecast possible. So just continue watching um, till you get to either your sun, moon, or rising sign. Um, and I really hope you enjoy this new weekly series. Hi Pisces, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week starting November 9th through November 15th. And this is for Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and Pisces Rising signs. So Pisces, let's get started. Alright, Pisces, at the bottom of the deck, I do have the Ten of Rods, which the Ten of Rods can be talking about feeling overburdened, or maybe like you have too much pressure on your back, um, maybe you've taken on too many things, you can be working a lot. I can pull this card for someone who's literally working a lot. Um, they might be spreading themselves thin a little bit too much. Um, this isn't a horrible card. It just, you know, you might have to ask for help. Um, um, you might have to lighten this load um, just a little bit this week. It can be a very hectic week or, or maybe you just have a lot going on, Pisces. I don't feel as though this is something quite serious. Looking with, you know, at your other cards, there just could be a lot going on, um, Pisces. Um, yeah, because um, it, it looks like it's going to be a great week, so you just might be incredibly busy. Uh, you are starting out with the King of Rods here. So this can be a, a fire sign person or someone with the King of Rods characteristics Pisces in your life this week, right off the bat, someone who's coming up quite significant, or this can be your energy. I feel like the majority watching this video, this is going to be um, your energy, which definitely, you know, this is my very busy um multitasking king. He he can be like an entrepreneur. He's a businessman. He's always on the go. He's always doing multiple different things at once. He's got a lot of energy, a lot of creative energy. He's, he's you know, he can really conquer many different tasks at once. So I feel like, you know, Pisces, uh, for the majority of, of Pisces out there, you're going to be coming in quite fiery, quite strong right off the bat, right in the beginning of this week. Um, you know, uh, a lot of you, this can be talking about in, in regards to your career. You're just maybe on fire. You're just maybe, um, you know, being able to take care of multiple tasks at once. Um, you can just be quite fiery, quite passionate, very driven, um, have a lot of energy, be incredibly creative at this time. Um, you do have the strength card right next to the king of rods here, which is really nice. Um, you know, you might have to go within and rely upon your inner strength, which I think, you know, you're going to have no problem doing that, Pisces, this week. I feel like, you know, with this energy of, with the King of Rods here, I think like you're, you know, maybe to, uh, ready to, to conquer anything that's in front of you. Um, yeah, I feel like you're going to have a lot of energy this week. Um, your overall energy for the entire week, Pisces, is the full, which is really nice. Um, you know, that's why a lot of you might be incredibly busy this week. You might be starting some sort of new job or 
just um, new beginning. This is this is someone stepping out on a new path. This is some sort of new beginning, new path. You're taking some sort of um, um, risk, maybe, or or just taking a leap of faith and really going for something. You're, I feel as though you're quite passionate. You're very driven and quite passionate about whatever this is, whatever new beginning this is for you, Pisces. This is something that. You know, um, it has a lot of great, fantastic energy attached to it. Um, right under the strength card here, I do have the Ten of Pentacles. So whatever new beginning this is, Pisces, whatever new, um, you know, path you're setting out on, I feel as though it's going to be um, very much financially rewarding. Um, this, this is the Ten of Pentacles. This is all about financial and material abundance. This is a beautiful card. And it not only talks about, you know, financial uh, abundance, but this is also talking about having, you know, abundance within the home, within the family. You can see all the different generations of the family here on the card. You know, there's a good home atmosphere around you. You're you're financially secure, and you know this is also this also represents you know money within the family that's been pa maybe passed down through generations, and it's it's just very much a a very um, secure and and wonderful card. Uh, it represents security, financial security, financial abundance. Um, you know, so this, this new opportunity that you're, or this new, um, beginning that you're starting Pisces, something that you're really taking a risk or, or taking some sort of leap of faith, it can be quite, um, prosperous. You know, this can actually really pay off, I, I feel, for, for many Pisces out there. This is something that's going to be very rewarding. Um, right next to the Ten of Pentacles and right below the King of Rods, I do have the Death card. So I feel like this is you really moving forward. This is you um, rising up out of the ashes. This is your new beginning. Because with the with the Death card, it's some sort of, you know, something old, something in your life um, possibly that's no longer serving you or just something old is gone, is no more, and something new is being brought in. You know, when a door closes, another door actually opens. And because... You know, I, I always look at how the cards are really interacting with one another. This man on the death card is actually facing and looking towards the Ten of Pentacles. He's looking f towards the Fool. The Fool is actually looking towards him as well. But he's looking towards all of these other cards here, Pisces. So he's looking towards an, all of your new beginnings. Um, I feel like this is a transitional period. The death card really represents transformation and I feel like you're coming out of something and you're going into something much better. A lot of you are starting something this week. Um, you're starting out on a new path with the Fool here as your, as your overall energy. And I feel like you're leaving something behind. You're leaving the past behind. You know, with the Eight of Cups here. With the Eight of Cups, the way it's kind of talking to the other cards is this person's back is leaving, you know, the 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 bad times behind and and walking towards all of this newness here. The ace of excuse me, the 8 of cups represents someone who traditionally it represents someone who's invested a lot emotionally into something and it's no longer serving them. So they're choosing to walk away from something or some sort of situation or maybe relationship that's no longer serving them. It no longer has their their best interest at heart. Um, you know, that's traditionally what this card represents. But for me, this is a card that represents movement. Um, for me, this is moving forward. This is this is one of my movement cards. This is moving forward in a, in a positive direction. Um, you know, leaving the past behind, ready to, to finally move on. That's my Eight of Cups. Um, and with the Death card here, it makes perfect sense. Um, and right, right in front of the Eight of Cups, where this person is actually walking towards, we have the Hierophant. So this can be, you know, some sort of new job, especially with the Fool here. I feel like some Pisces might be starting with a, maybe a new company this week because the Hierophant can represent, you know, large companies. 
conforming traditional values um, marriage even but I feel like for for a lot of Pisces this is actually just representing a company some sort of large company maybe you're you're starting with a new company or maybe you're moving up within a company Pisces um, there can be maybe the need for some conforming um, some of some Pisces might be actually moving towards maybe um, uh, speaking with some sort of religious um, mentor or spiritual mentor. That's definitely a possibility because this is a general reading. Directly underneath the Hierophant, I do have the King of Cups here, which this can be an energy that you're taking on Pisces right at the end of the week, um, going into the following week. This can be an energy you're taking on, or I feel like, um, because this is represented by, you know, the water signs, which is you, Pisces, or this can be another person coming in, and they can be a water sign like yourself, um, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer, but if not, you know, they can just be someone who has these King of Cups characteristics. And this can be a person coming in, you know, right at the end of the week. You know, sitting right under the Hierophant here. For some Pisces, because this is a general reading, this could be like a new boss or maybe someone new within a company if you are starting out at a new company. For some people, this could be like your father or your husband or a friend that's coming in. This could be someone that, you know, you you have over your house because um, the last card that I have here is the Four of Rods, which this is my happy home card. This is all about the happy, secure, um, wonderful home environment um, that's around you. So things are looking really nice at, at home, within the home, Pisces. This is um, letting me know things are quite stable. Things are very secure. It's a very nice um, home environment around you. Um, but this card also can represent like marriage and, and get-togethers with family, parties, celebrations. And we are approaching here um, in the United States, we are approaching Thanksgiving very, very soon. So maybe, you know, people are coming in from out of town, relatives or friends are visiting. Um, so this can be someone coming in or this could be, you know, again, this can be you. Maybe you're feeling incredibly warm and and quite loving and um, just very, very happy um, at this time. You know, you're 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 having a great week. You're moving forward. Some Pisces are starting a new job. They're starting out on some sort of new path. They're taking a leap of faith. They're going for it. I see this being something that's very rewarding. You know, you're very strong strong Pisces with the strength card here. You're fired up. You've got a lot of nice energy and this is all going to pay off for you. You have um, just, you know, some lovely cards. I see, you know, at the end of the week, if this is you, Pisces, you're very happy. You're very happy. You might even, you know, have some friends, family over, maybe have some sort of get together. Um, this is just something that's, that's very nice. You know, and because this is a general reading, I don't have like the lover's card here or the two of cups or anything like that. But, you know, this could be someone that you're meeting as well with the fool here, which can not only mean like new beginnings in regards to, you know, business or career. This can come up when, you know, someone is maybe meeting someone. So maybe, you know, some Pisces, uh, I feel, you know, because it's a general reading, they could be meeting someone um, that maybe, you know, they have some sort of spark with and it, you guys might have a lot in common because it can be um, this King of Cups person or maybe even this King of Rods person here. Um, and this can be a friendship. It doesn't have to be something romantic. It can just be something that makes you, you know, quite happy. Um, it doesn't always have to be representing a new path. It doesn't always have to be something professionally. It really can be about anything. Um, so, so Pisces, this looks pretty, pretty amazing. I will pull you an additional guidance card. Oop, cards are just flipping out. Okay. 
I'll take that. We have Accelerated Motion Pisces. This card did flip out like immediately, right as I picked the deck up to start shuffling. All right, so let's see. This card represents speed, flight, swift movement, hope, passion, and above all, endings to delays. The conditions around you are perfect and appear to be rapidly heading in the direction of your goals and desires. Luck is on your side and your enthusiasm is at an all-time high. Brace yourself as you finally witness the manifestation of what you've worked for and visualized. This is the call for initiation, but you should also ask yourself, is there anything else in my life that I need to act on now? Be wise and take advantage of these ideal conditions. Now isn't the time for you to fight against the river of life. Trust, have faith, and go with the flow. This strong current is taking you to a positive outcome in future. What a beautiful card, Pisces. And it and it really just resonates beautifully with the rest of your cards here. This is going to be a lovely week for you, Pisces, and you guys deserve it. So have a great week and take care. Hi, Cancer. This is Tracy from Northeast Tarot, and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week starting November 9th through the 15th. And this is for Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and Cancer Rising signs. So, Cancer, when I was shuffling, um, cards were just flying out left and right. We had the Lovers, we had the Six of Cups, and the Two of Swords. Um, I did stick them back in. I did continue to shuffle for a good five minutes after that. But I did want to point that out to you because those cards can be significant for some Cancers. Ah, here's the Lovers. Alright, Cancer. At the bottom of the deck, I do have the Hierophant, which this can be talking about some sort of company that maybe you work for. This can be representing maybe a marriage. This can be representing conforming or traditional, um, tra traditional values. This also can be some sort of maybe trusted mentor or trusted religious figure or spiritual leader within your life. Um, this is a general reading, so the Hierophant might be, you know, um, uh, different. It might have some sort of significance that's different for all of you. All right, let's take a look at your cards, Cancer. All right, Cancer, we're starting out with the Nine of Pentacles, um, which is, you know, a lovely card. It's, it represents being financially and material materialistically ab abundant. Um, you know, you have all of those um, material possessions. You have, you know, the nice um, decorations within your home. You have the lovely um, clothing. Um, you might have animals. You might have a lovely garden. Financially, you're looking quite quite um, well off um, and, and I do have the nine of pentacles sitting directly on top of the ten of pentacles so financially I think that you know this week you're looking actually um, things are looking quite good cancer um, you know you have the nine of pentacles which is that financial and material abundance um, and then the ten of pentacles directly below it, which is, you know, um, all about financial and material abundance. Not only does this represent financial and material abundance, but this is talking about abundance within the family. You can see all the different generations of the family here on this card. So this is, this is not only talking about having abundance financially, but this is, you know, having abundance within the home, within the family. You might have, you know, um, maybe a lot of family coming in this week. 
cancer or this can be representing, you know, just a, a very happy home environment. Things are quite stable um, within the home and quite lovely. This card also does represent uh, money that's maybe being passed down through the generations and it doesn't just have to be money. It can be any sort of um, any sort of um, property or, or you know deeds or bonds or things of that nature. Any sort of things that have any sort of value to them. Um, but you know it's a lovely card. Um, so I actually have the Nine of Pentacles and right on the side of the Nine of Pentacles I have the Six of Swords which I actually really like this card. This is a card that's talking about moving forward. Moving forward um, from either a particular place or situation to a much better place or situation. This is always talking about forward movement for me. Moving forward and moving to a much better place. So you know, there might be some cancers that, you know, they're moving from maybe one apartment to literally a much better apartment, or maybe they're moving from an apartment to a home. Um, definitely can be the case for some cancers because, you know, I do have the Ten of Pentacles here, um, which does represent things within the family. So, you know, there could be some cancers that they're moving forward um, they're moving to a better place, maybe, um, with something that maybe the family has offered them or provided for them. Um, and then other cancers, um, I see you moving maybe towards something that you've wanted for a very long time, something that's going to make you quite emotionally abundant as well, um, I do have the Nine of Cups here, which the Nine of Cups is talking about that emotional abundance, being quite happy, quite content, very emotionally fulfilled. But this is also known as the Wish card. So because this man on the Six of Swords card is looking directly over at the Nine of Cups, you very much could be, you know, having some sort of wish come true um, and you're moving towards that. You're moving towards some sort of wish that's coming true and it can be in regards to a relationship because on the other side of the Nine of Cups I do have the Lover's card here which the Lover's card can be talking about a relationship a very lusty, very romantic relationship where you, you know, you have a lot of chemistry you have a very strong connection with this other person um, something that even maybe you're being divinely guided to. But this also can can talk about a head or heart decision that needs to be made maybe within a, a relationship. Something you really have to weigh, um, you know, up maybe your options or, or just choose between maybe, um, you know, what your head is really telling you to do and what your heart is really wanting you to do. Um... So maybe some sort of decision is going to be made. Maybe it's something that you were really hoping for or wishing for, Cancer. You know, because this is a general reading, I feel like this can be, you know, different for, for different Cancers. Um, but you are being divinely guided. You have, you have, you know, two wish cards in this one little weekly spread. So this is quite significant. You have the star here, which is another wish card, and it's Major Arcana, Cancer. But this is also a card that when it shows up in a spread, I do know that you are being divinely guided. You do have angels and your spirit guides around you, guiding you, leading you. Um, it's a it's just a beautiful card. This is also a card that comes in to give you reassurance, Cancer, um, that better days are around the corner. Uh, to never lose the hope, never lose your hope, never lose your faith. This is, you know, reassurance that better days are coming in. Um, beautiful energy, beautiful card. If you felt like restricted or held back or you were holding yourself back in some way cancer this is a week to not um 
you know, not give in to that, not let this hinder you in any which way. You have the Eight of Swords here, which is talking about fears and anxieties holding you back, um, preventing you from maybe moving forward with something that you, you know, you might want, you know, desperately in your life, or you might really be hoping and wishing for. Don't let it hold you back. Don't let this Five of Cups energy as well be holding you back or hinder you in any which way. You have the Five of Cups here with the Eight of Swords, which the Five of Cups can be talking about, you know, not being in the best place emotionally. Maybe everything in, else in your life, Cancer, is going quite well, but maybe emotionally you're just not in the best place. You can be quite sad. You can have some sort of regrets or just sadness, loneliness, some sort of heartache or that you might be dealing with. Or maybe, you know, there's some Cancers that are getting over this. You know, um, maybe they're in some sort of transitional period. Um, with the Eight of Swords here, maybe some people, some Cancers are maybe afraid to move out of this or move forward in some way. Um, you can be spending a lot of time at home this week or because I do have the Four of Swords here, which the Four of Swords traditionally is, you know, the soldier who is out to battle. Um, but now he's he's gotten to come in, he's taking a rest, he's recharging his batteries, you know, but this is this is talking about spending time alone, um, recouping in some way. You could have just went through a difficult period, cancer in your life, and this is you know, this is talking about getting some some rest and and um re recharging your batteries. Um you know, so some cancers, they might have, you know, went through some sort of difficult time or, you know, um, you just can be taking a break this week, um, spending a lot of time at home. But when you are out, you know, when you do free yourself from whatever, you know, restrictions you might have, any sort of mental fears or anxieties that have been holding you back, or, or maybe sorrows that have been holding you back from maybe stepping out. I really feel as though, you know, this is the week if you have maybe felt restricted or held back in some which way, this is the week that things will be moving forward. This is the week that you're stepping out of this. With the Six of Swords here in the star, you're being divinely led and, and guided, you know, to move forward. Because, you know, you will have some sort of, um, you know, emotional abundance waiting for you. We will have some sort of beautiful wish um, come true for you. And, you know, financially, you're looking, you know, beautiful with the ten and the nine and ten of pentacles here. Um, you know, this wish can have something to do because I have the Hierophant here with the lovers you know this for some cancers because this is a general reading this could have to do with you know your marriage or a marriage you know maybe the hierophant isn't talking about a company but it you know it certainly because it's a general reading can be talking about you know some sort of you know um maybe decision that needs to be made within a company or some sort of uh, wish that's coming true, maybe about a company or, or your job or something like that, of course, because this is a general reading. But for others, this can be talking about a relationship because we have the lover's card here with the Hierophant. So this very much can be talking about maybe uh, some sort of wish coming true about maybe some sort of relationship. If you've been in a relationship and maybe things haven't been that um, really that good and maybe this is the week that they turn around you're moving forward you know remember I have the six of swords here that's all about moving from some sort of particular environment or situation to a much better place or situation this is this is an upgrade this is moving forward to a better place so right now I am going to pull an additional card, Cancer, for some additional guidance. Please show me an additional card for Cancer. Please show me additional guidance for Cancer. 
the week of November 9th, all right, through the 15th. This card did fly out, okay. And it's movement, choices, decisions. This card indicates a time of movement. Significant changes and choices must be made. With hard work, great effort, and determination, you have the ability to juggle all the demands that are in front of you. Whether they concern money, business decisions, or other projects, it's important to stay flexible and focused. You don't have to do it alone. Reach out for the best advice and assistance. In addition, a financial union or partnership may present itself to you. The more time you take to make these vital decisions and choices, the longer it will be before you can move forward towards your goal in the physical material world. The changes that are emerging aren't some random acts or coincidences. They're all part of a positive and larger scheme. Notice the connections with everything, and this will enable you to avoid future problems and conflicts. Very, very interesting. Very nice, Cancer. Wow. This lover's card here might actually, you know, be talking about a partnership or a union that might not necessarily be romantic. This can be a business partnership. Very interesting. And you might have felt restricted or had fears and anxieties, and this might have been talking about moving forward um, and more on a, a professional level. This might not have been, um, you know, moving forward emotionally and holding yourself back. This might be talking about, you know, more in a, in a, um, in a career environment, um, because this is general reading. This will be, you know, of course, different for, 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 you know, different cancers, but definitely with the lovers here, this can be picking up on some sort of business partnership. So very interesting, very, very, very nice week. It's a very significant week, um, but very positive movement forward. It's, it's you know, definitely going to be a very significant, wonderful week for you, Cancer. So I wish you all the best. Have a great week. Hi, Scorpio. This is Tracy from Northeast Tarot, and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week starting November 9th through the 15th. So this is for Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and Scorpio Rising Signs. So Scorpio, let's get started. Scorpio at the bottom of the deck I do have the king of rods so Scorpio this king of rods can be someone that is quite significant within your life this week this can be a fire sign that is around you kings are normally someone who is older they're established um, this can be a Leo a Sagittarius or an Aries or this can just be someone with the king of rods characteristics um, someone who's quite driven quite passionate um, quite fiery. Um, it can be someone around you or this can be, you know, some energy that you're actually taking on this week, Scorpio. You can be quite driven, very um, passionate, fire, fiery yourself, quite optimistic, very creative. You can have a lot of energy. This king brings forth, you know, a lot of energy, a lot of passionate energy. All right, so let's take a look at the rest of the cards here, Scorpio. All right, so you have some major arcana cards here. All right. You're starting out with the Nine of Pentacles, which I believe the sign before you, Cancer, just had the Nine of Pentacles as well. 
starting out with. Um, lovely card, financial and material abundance. So, you know, right in the beginning of the week, financially, you're off to a great start. You, you know, you have money for the little extras. Um, you can, you know, maybe eat out at nice restaurants or you just can afford to, to buy any little extras that your heart might, might desire, whether that be, you know, food or, you know, nice clothing or get your hair done or maybe, you know, spoil your pets. You might have some pets. You can have, you know, a garden or, or just put money in, you know, invest it into the home or yourself. Um, if you if you like, you can do that. You're financially just you know you're looking quite quite secure and you know in a in a in a very good place. Um, following the nine of pentacles, I do have the nine of rods. So very interesting because you have two nines right here, right in a row, which the nine of rods is all about. You know maybe someone feeling like giving up. You can really you know feel like you've gone through a lot and maybe like, you know, things aren't going to change or when is, you know, but th this is, this is a warrior. This is a very strong individual on, on this card here. This is my warrior card. This is, this is where you've gone through the worst of whatever it is that you've gone through. Okay. But all of the battles, all of the heartache, all of, all of the hardships and you're still standing Scorpio. You're still here you know, if that, you know, if what you've already gone through hasn't taken you down, nothing's going to take you down. You're here, you're still standing, you know, and the, and the message that this card um, presents is, you know, don't you dare give up right before the miracle occurs. You know, you might feel like giving up or you might just feel like, you know, you've had enough or you can't go on, but you know what? You're here, you're still standing, you've come this far you know, you know, you're, you're almost done. You know, miracles will come in. Things will change for the better. That's, you know, the meaning of this card. It's a, it's actually, it's actually a card that shows you how strong you are, Scorpio, especially when it's sitting directly on top of the strength card. I mean, <laughs> um, clearly you're, you're very strong. You have that inner strength not just that physical endurance, you have that mental strength, you have that inner strength, um, you have that courage, you have that, you know, will to succeed, Scorpio. Um, and this is telling me this, you know, you're working very hard. The overall energy is the seven of pentacles. So you're working incredibly hard. You're putting a lot of time and effort into, you know, all of those things, all of, you know, this, all of those rewards and that abundance that you want out of life. You're putting a lot of effort and time working towards your goals. You're working towards whatever it is that you, that you want. Um, and you're very close. You're very close to succeeding that. Um, you have the queen of cups here, which I feel as though this is very much you and your energy. Um, you know, the queen of cups represents the water signs, but I feel as though you're very content. You're happy. You're, you're, you know, very warm this week, very warm, very caring, very loving, loving towards, you know, maybe people in your life, family, friends. You're just very much, um, very, very content this week. Very lovely energy. Um, you, you know, of course, this could always be someone around you, but I really feel as though this is this is you. No matter if you're a man or woman, I, you're very happy. You're content. You're you're fulfilled. Um, yes, you're busting your butt and you are you're working incredibly hard, and and that's not the easiest sometimes when you feel like you know there's a lot against you or maybe like you're not getting to the place that you want to. I feel like you're 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 doing well and you're in an okay place, but you know you you want more. There's you want you know more out of life which is okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, you, you know, you have, you, you have ideas or plans. You, you, you want more. Um, and you might be feeling a lack because I have the five of pentacles here, 
which for me, this doesn't mean, you you know, financial poverty. To me, that's not what this card represents. Um, to some readers, it does, but for me, it does not. It represents a feeling of lack. You have a feeling of lack in your life, and it doesn't always have to even be talking about money. Um, and this isn't the card that says you have a lack of money if, if it is talking about money. This is talking about a feeling as though you don't have enough. So I think that you do have enough, Scorpio, but you know, you're not in a place that you want to be. Um, so you have, you know, you feel because you haven't reached that place yet, you feel a lack. Um, I don't believe, you know, this is representing any sort of financial poverty for you at all. Um, you know, this is also a card, um, when it's not talking about a feeling of lack, this is a card that represents, you know, even feeling like you're left out in the cold in some way. And because this is a general reading, um, you know, for those Scorpios that, you know, have been, you know, busting their butt, they're putting a lot of time and effort and, and, and hard work into something to try to make something manifest in their life. And they just feel like, you know, they're not getting anywhere and they're left out in the cold. Just know that you have angels around you and your spirit guides and they're leading you. They're leading you. You're, you're being divinely guided right now because the three cards here, Scorpio, with this card, these three cards are wonderful. You have the star card right next to the five of pentacles, which is one of my favorite cards. Um, this is, this can be known as a wish card. Um, so, you know, something that you might've been wishing or hoping or dreaming for or wished upon a star that, you know, this is a wish card. So that can be coming true this week. But for me, this card represents, you know, um, being divinely guided. This card lets me know along with the temperance card that you do have, you know, angels in your spirit guides around you, guiding you, leading you. Um, in the direction that you're meant to go. And, you know, this is a card about keeping the faith, remaining hopeful. This is a card that brings reassurance, letting you know that better days are ahead. You have two cards that are, 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 are screaming that to you this week, letting you know, you know, not to give up right before miracles occur that, you know, better days are coming in. This is a lovely card and it's major arcana. Um, so this, these are things that you really can't change. This is energy that's coming in. And to see these cards sitting like this, um, one on top of the other, the star with the temperance card, this is really beautiful, Scorpio. I, you very much are being divinely guided. You very much have, you know, angels around you, helping you, assisting you in your time of need. Um, if you felt as though, you know, you were maybe emotionally unbalanced in some which way, or if you needed some sort of healing, um, this is, you know, an angel coming in, helping you, bringing healing to you and helping you get, you know, emotionally balanced this week. This is a lovely energy. Um, the temperance card here and and you know with the temperance card and the star right below the five of pentacles I have the eight of rods which is you know things looking up you know um, these these rods here they're pointing up this is this is change and and, and fast-paced movement this is this is all about moving forward um, this is an energy that's coming in where, you know, if you felt stuck or like, you know, you weren't really getting anywhere, you're just putting a lot of hard work into something, you know, this is, this is a change in pace. This is representing some sort of fast paced energy movement, moving forward, coming in, um, things looking up, um, very nice. So you know, five of pentacles, seven of pentacles are on one side of this with the eight of rods and they're pointing directly towards temperance, the star, they're pointing in, in a direction of the future. And, and, you know, this is letting you know that things are moving forward. You're moving forward. Things might even happen quickly 
and this would be at the end of the week going into the following week you might feel as though maybe you start to get somewhere or things are really maybe happening quite quickly you might feel a shift in the energy um, this can be a very fast-paced energy where even things happen suddenly but it's a very lovely energy and if you felt like things weren't looking up for you in quite some time this is very much a, a card that represents you know things um, taking a turn for the better things looking up um, overall, I feel like you're going to have a great week. Um, I don't feel as though you're going to feel really this energy, like really giving up. You know, there might be some Scorpios out there that might because it's a general um, reading. But I feel like this is something, you know, you might have felt ongoing for some time, Scorpio. And this is just an energy that's with you. This this Nine of Rods with the Five of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles having to be patient and waiting for, you know, your abundance and, and things to come in for you. But I feel as though, you know, this is very significant, very powerful week for you where, you know, Things are, are starting to move forward. Things are looking up. You know, the star card is here letting you know that, you know, better days are coming in to remain hopeful and remain positive. And I think you are. I really think you are with the Queen of Cups coming in, which is, I feel as though, which is you, Scorpio. And you're coming in, you know, quite positive, quite happy. I feel as though you're very content. Um, you, ha you know how strong you are. I think you might see the bigger picture. You see where things are are headed um it, it looks like it's going to be a great week scorpio very easy uh week for you i am going to pull you an additional guidance card please show me an additional guidance card for scorpio an additional guidance card for scorpio scorpio sun scorpio moon scorpio rising signs please show me an additional guidance card for Scorpio. Please show me an additional guidance card for Scorpio. An additional guidance card for Scorpio. All right, this card did come out. It just flipped out, Scorpio, so I am going to take it. Those are the most significant cards, and we have a rest and rejuvenate. Good advice. All right, rest and rejuvenate. This card implies that a period of rest, meditation, rejuvenation, and re recuperation is in order. It usually comes forward when you're encountering or coming out of a particularly emotional or mentally taxing experience. The number four in numerology means foundation. So this is a time to heal, to be with your soul, and to continue moving steadily forward. Allowing space just just for your reflection is both needed and long overdue. Taking moments for yourself will give you the opportunity to look at a problem or situation instead of being in it. It's a chance to stand back, view your life with clarity and renewed appreciation and see where changes can be made to create a healthier and stronger foundation enabling you to take your next step. Very nice card, Scorpio. It's great advice, um, and it talks about healing, which your reading very much talks about healing. Um, again, I felt like this is a, a, a lingering energy. I didn't feel like, you know, you're going to feel it this week. I feel like it's just lingering from um, times previous. Um, so, you know, like this card is talking about, if you're coming out of a, a time of feeling tax, taxing or feeling like, you know, burden in some which way, um, there's definitely healing coming in and, it, and it's telling you to definitely take some time for yourself, go within, definitely get some rest um, and some recuperation and it's going to serve you well. It's going to serve you well. So Scorpio, this has just been a fantastic reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great week. Take care.